Valhalla Delay is my favorite plugin I've ever worked on. It covers all sorts of delays, tape, digital, bucket brigade, pitch shifting. It does reverbs, it does modulation, and it does it all in an interface that is as minimal as we could get away with, and yet allows you to dive deep into sounds. So let's do an overview of the Valhalla Delay controls. Now, some of these controls like mode and style are really complex and they're changing the other controls that get displayed. The most powerful control by far is the mode control. This switches between what is being modeled. And we have right now seven modes as of the filming of this. Let's go through the modes. Let's start with the first mode. The first mode is tape. This is based on our analysis of the Roland RE201, as well as listening to the RE301 and the Echoplex EP3. We didn't exactly recreate any of those because we found you can't exactly recreate anything when it comes to a tape delay. These things all sound different. They sound alive and crazy. So what we try to do is not exactly recreate one specific instance, but try to hit some sort of hypothetical mean between them. One of our favorite things in Valhalla Delay is the wow and flutter in the tape section. This is based on how real tape delays have an inherent amount of wow and flutter. So let's turn off the delay with so there's no wow and flutter if you don't mind, Mr. Don. So let's just hear the... It's a very basic sound. Now turn up the wow and flutter. that wow and flutter, as you can hear, adds this organic nature to things. Hi-Fi is another tape echo, but it's based on a hypothetical tape echo that would happen when you've got reel-to-reel -reel units in a high-quality studio. And the idea is that it still sounds like a tape echo. But much brighter. You can control the rate of the wow and flutter. It's a much more high-fidelity thing. Bucket Brigade is based on the Bucket Brigade pedals, honestly, of the late 70s and early 80s. This is one of our favorite things. It's got the darkness of old Bucket Brigade things. It's got, you can dial up the noisiness. Now put in like present mode. It's a little bit present. This one was based on a memory man. A memory man is cool because it has some modulation. Future is some hypothetical brighter version, still dark. Digital, based on old school digital delays. If you put the age to zero, it's super clean. Ghost, this is the one that Don had me put in there. It's mysterious. Put in like the future one. It's got a very strange diffusion. It's easier to hear with vocals and other things. It also has a frequency shifter in there. Put it at minus pitch. This is a digital delay. Yeah. 
that can also pitch shift. And then the reverse version. Okay, let's turn up them the delays. Turn it way up. Crystal ship, there we go. Yep. This is a pitch shifter that runs in reverse. Whatever goes into it gets reversed and comes out shifted in pitch. You can actually have it at no pitch shift and it just comes out reverse. Can you turn the pitch shift to zero and delay time to five seconds? So let's talk about style. Let's talk about style, Valhalla delay style. The style control, Don has that in the lower left. It controls what sort of delay it is. And it's best to just explain that by going through it. Like the single delay is what we have set up here. Maybe we can get a little scooch of feedback on that. Very basic. It has a spread control in it that allows you to get a little bit of left right offset. So here it is with uh, a little bit more spread. You'll be able to hear a little bit of the image widening as it decays away. Dual that you've got different delay times for left and right. Ratio, this is something that is unique, as far as I know, to Valhalla Delay. It is essentially a mode that has a different delay time for left and right, where the right hand to left time is set to a ratio of the length of the left delay. Can you turn that feedback up even more? Uh -huh. I love the ratio mode. There's a lot that I've done with it. It's a great way of making a simple echo much more complex. Ping pong. Classic. Ping pong takes your signal and bounces it between the left and right channels. You want it to bounce between the right and left? Turn the width to minus 100%. The width control allows you to have a stereo signal at 100%, a mono signal at zero, or somewhere in between. So that's a more subtle ping pong. Or if you set it to negative values, you flip the direction in which it goes. Quad, crank that repeat up and cover your ears. Put it at 0%. Quad is based on the multi-head tape echoes that you would have found in the 70s. And you've got two different ways of doing that. You've got what's called repeat, which means the pattern will repeat itself after a few seconds. Swell, they're all building on each other and it's not stable, like in the slightest. You have the spacing that allows you to control what that rhythm is. A tiny bit of spacing variant makes it really stereo, changes the feedback frequencies. So as you can see, the style control is essentially really transforming the nature of the delay itself within a given delay model, be it tape, Bucker Brigade, digital, or whatever. It gives you a lot of different voicing opportunities where it changes the sound and behavior of it. What we wanted to create in Valhalla Delay was not just something that sounded like old analog delays, but behaved like old analog delays. Sounds that almost sounded like they were alive. Anyone that's doing stuff with audio could find a use for it.